Welcome back guys to another Cloud Now episode. Today we had the VCM hybrid mech mod and also we're going to go another feature of the RDA of the fishbone. Now Zach's been vaping on the VCM and this <laughs> Zach has been vaping on the VCM mech mod and also the fishbone a lot longer than I have so I'm going to go ahead and let him take away with this one. You feel comfortable today? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're reviewers. We're not simple. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. But anyways, we're going to go up close. We're going to talk about a couple of features before we do that. Price points and also kind of where you can find this too. Alright, so the VCM, it is a hybrid mech mod. Um, I've been using it now for, I don't know, about a week week or so um it's great uh it's holding up awesome there's there's absolutely no voltage drop on this thing it's been rated online um as the best mod for for least amount of voltage drop it beat out everybody um the, it doesn't even slightly get hot your tube gets a little warm that's from your rda and your battery but the button um we did a juice review for uh, 10 Titans and uh, Zombageddon. And I used it for most of that episode. My battery started to die, but the button stayed cold the whole time. I'm so impressed with it. I, uh, I ran a simple for a long time. And uh, I got hot buttons all the time. I tried to do a cloud comp with it. And I was actually burning my finger. And this thing, I mean... I use it all day, every day. I'll run four or five batteries off of it. It never, never gets warm. Um, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Another good thing is uh, I like the black version a lot better than the copper. This has like a rubberized um, coating to it almost, where the copper one just has it's just like a smooth copper. Um, I just think it stands out. It makes the VCM stand out a little bit better. Button's real nice, gold looking thing. Uh, real classy looking. I like it. The weight's real nice. It's durable. Um, I mean, been using it for a week in and out of my pocket, bouncing around my cup holder in my truck, um, you know, dropping, throwing it on the table and stuff. And I'm not getting anything. No paint chips. I don't know what this coating is, but it's really durable. Doesn't leave like fingerprints or nothing like that. I mean, it stays classy. So, I have Travis bring you guys all in. I'll show you guys a little more up close. Let's go ahead and cloud, cloud it out. Right, guys now we're up close um there is the engraving vcm it's very deep engraved um there's your hybrid hybrid top um the button real nice button um constant contact or constant ground um very very nice has a very nice ring for uh battery rattle adjustment it is reverse thread um, very easy to adjust. Um, battery in, uh, positive up. Screw that bad boy on. I mean, the threads on this thing are butter. Um, then the fish bone. Nice clear RDA. Got a little picture of a fish on it. Um, it is bottom airflow. Um, the only issue I have with it is when I first started using it, I was over dripping, so it would run down out the bottom all the way down my mod, but it's real easy to fix. The pulse holes on there are real nice. I have a set of stage heating parallels in there right now. I don't remember the gauge. I, we were just playing around. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it holds a really nice amount of cotton, real nice amount of juice. I mean, you can... You can fit real nice build in there. Get up close. 
Uh, the only issue I have with the fish bone is I've already broken one of the glasses. It comes with a second glass, but it is very fragile. It rolled off the seat in my truck in my Jeep, hit the door, and shattered. Um, and it gets a little it gets dirty. Uh, I like the way it looks on here. I think it looks cool, but it does get pretty dirty. Um, I'm always taking it off and cleaning it out, making it look you know better. But it's a, it's a nice hitting RDA for a, for a bottom airflow. It's a hundred times better than a Mad Hatter or one something like that. The bottom airflow is huge holes. Uh, you can't see it really in the because of the build I have in there. I guess you see it on the bottom. I mean, real nice. So, but yeah, it, it vapes beautiful. Put that on there and show you guys how this works. No battery rattle. Oh, now this thing is violent. I mean, as soon as you touch that button, it's game time. She gets pissed. So, I mean, there's no voltage drop. It hits like a tank. At first, it took me a little bit to get used to the VCM because it hit harder than anything I've ever owned before this. Um, it hits harder than my Smock full 160 with a Buddha. Um, cloud production is amazing. Let's back it up and show you guys that. Beautiful mech mod. I'd highly recommend picking it up. I got mine over at uh, Boss Vapors. Uh, they retail for about 105 bucks. I've seen them online, all pretty much right around there. Um, battery life ain't too bad in them either. I don't know why I seem to get better battery life out of this compared to any other type of mechanical, but battery life is real nice it's just all around a solid mod I highly recommend picking one of these up if you come across one um, I know I immediately was grateful for that purchase so get back out and uh, we'll talk on it and vape on it Alright guys, that was the VCM Hybrid Mech Mod Competition Grade. And also the Fishbone as well. The Fishbone retails at right around 30 bucks online. It's probably right around 20 bucks. I'm going to find a description, not find descriptions. I'm going to find links to where you can easily go into it and just click away. And you can pick up yourself one as well. They'll be down below. Oh yeah, down below. And not underneath the table though. No. <laughs> description. Anyways, the VCM real estate retails at 105. Now it may seem kind of steep, but you're picking up a really good mech mod. No hot button, very, very low voltage drop, and plus it's competition grade. That's very good. And also, too, just the looks of it is just it's phenomenal. And yet, yet again, this guy over here he gets a mech mod that's way better than mine. <laughs> Anyways, also I like the portion to where it's nice and it's stealthy, not as in vapor wise, because we know this, this guy creates quite a bit of vapor. But as in, like, you can easily put in your pocket, you can easily take the batteries out, buttery smooth threads, everything about it is just simple, very upfront, and yet does the greatest amount of vapor I've seen on a mech mod for a long time. Oh yeah. Damn. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh yeah. So, video short, it's a mech mod. I mean, there's not a whole lot into it, you know. Uh, by far worth every single penny I paid for it. Like I said, I immediately was thankful for that purchase. Sometimes I buy things on a whim and then I get like regretful of it. <clears throat> but definitely not this. Um, I've been taking it to work with me. I've been, I've, it's been pretty much my everyday vape. I really haven't been using the smock a whole lot lately. Um, this thing, I just, I like the feel of it. I like, I like it a lot. I do. 
and be very careful with the fish bone because even though there's a reason why it comes with two glass pieces on top of it. Yes. And I like how the fact that you can't take out the chuff cap. To me, it has a nice airflow. I have one person myself too, and I've been using it here and there, mostly just for testing out juices. I don't have it at the moment in my bag. I actually don't really know where it's at. <laughs> That's bad. But anyways, uh, fish bone, I would get that a rating of an eight. It's more for seeing for flavor. It does good for cloud production as well. And VCM, you can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. All right, guys. Again, short video, but simple the better. From Cloud Now Studios, we're Cloud Now.